even when I was a police officer, it was Reverend Terry Lee that organized our clergy members and our elected officials to really uh, start the conversation about anti-violence. So uh, uh, this, uh, our presence here today is really to signify uh, what this family uh, means to the central Brooklyn community. And when uh, there was a fire of this nature, that the fire department has deemed as suspicious took place on August 5th uh, between the hours of 9.30 p.m. and 10 p.m. Uh, it's here at 847, 846 Union Avenue, uh, where the church is located upstairs, the Byway and Hedges uh, Youth of Christ Ministry. It happened while Reverend Terry Lee and oh, his parishioners were at the National uh, uh, <laughs> Night Out. That, is, that takes place throughout the entire borough. So while he was out fighting crime and preventing crime, someone appears to have been here carrying out a crime, a crime of arson, a crime of intimidation possibly. It was only weeks ago that right here, uh, we closed part of Utica Avenue to hold an anti-violence rally. So whatever message someone was supposed to send, that a message is going to be ignored because this church is going to rebuild and it's going to remain here. Amen. So I've always had been a, a, a strong supporter of Pastor Lee, and I'm going to continue. Uh, I would make the first contribution to rebuild this church, a personal a contribution to do so. And you know, I took this off his desk. This was on his desk, you know. Um, next to the Bible that was partially burned. Uh, and it's just a reflection of what this man has meant, and this man of God has meant uh, for this community. Uh, it's a reflection of that. And in addition to contributing uh, to assistance to the rebuilding, I am writing a personal check of $5,000 to anyone who come up with information to find out who's responsible for what happened here. We cannot continue to have men of God to do the service in our community if we're not here to support them in the manner in which uh, it needs to. He has sacrificed so much over the years. He has been a, a voice in the wilderness of fighting anti-violence. And, and, and I want him to know clearly, as borough president, he has my support. And we're going to help navigate whatever needs to be done to the Department of Buildings, whatever needs to be done with the fire department to get the necessary reports, whatever needs to be done with the insurance companies to make sure, because sometimes when things start to burn, the insurance company try to run, but we're going to make sure they're going to be here to help you rebuild this church. And, and what Reverend Terry Lee has done. This scorched, partially burned document is a reflection of the courses and what Reverend Terry Lee has been doing. So we want you to really understand what this man and this man of God means to this community. Uh, this is one of our giants. And I'm, I'm going to reach out to the police commissioner and the chief of this uh, borough, uh, borough uh, Brooklyn borough, to ensure that we're properly investigating this crime. The people responsible must be brought to justice. And, and, and when you look at the radio station that he had and the, the, the different things in the banner, to use the banner to burn the church and the scorched Bibles and other religious material, all these men and women who are part of the faith-based community in Brooklyn are all coming together to say that we want the individuals who are responsible for this brought to justice. And that is the important message as we start the process of rebuilding this great church on Utica Avenue, of a great family and a great uh, mainstay and foundational family in the Brooklyn community. And so, Reverend, we here, we're here, and we're not here for today. We're here until this institution is rebuilt in a very real and meaningful way. I'm, I'm joined by my colleague, Assemblyman, Assemblyman Nick Perry, uh, represents this area. Uh, and I would like for Assemblyman Nick Perry and then Assemblyman Kareem
Camaro, who's also a, a pastor, and then Reverend Morose, Pastor Morose, uh, from my office, part of the faith-based um, office in my office, will take us through the rest of the conference.